All right, so once I invite you to the Miro board, you're going to be able to place images and things um, on the board um, in your little area and try not to get into anybody else's area and be sort of respectful of where your stuff is. Um, what you're going to need is, based on the example, is something similar to this. So a couple of uh, images of your definition in different states and then um, a couple of your of screen captures from Rhino that show different points in the definition with the updated state. I've also highlighted where that updated state is and this one it was an image change. Um, so we're going to go in and do this guy. Um, we're going to add a little comment here so people can leave comments for you and then we're going to you're going to name it um, and then we're going to eventually put a link to your video so people can go look at that if they want to. So um, what you're going to need is over here in this area, you're going to need your definition saved out, right? And I would recommend doing it with a white background. This is not going to be real attractive when I do it, but you can see it. And then um, two versions of the, your definition in those different states, you know, from a different point in the definition. And you can decide what this is going to be and what you're going to update. You can do more or less, however you want to do it. Um, and then you'll need your um, video you know that you're turning in for assignment too. Um, so that would be a, another thing that you'll need eventually. But basically, if you have your image files, um, it's pretty straightforward. What you're going to do is you're just going to pick one of these grids and drag these things onto Miro. So if I come in and, and just start dragging these things in, right, I'm getting them, let's say I picked that guy right there as my square, then you can just kind of drag them in. You can zoom in on this guy and just start dragging your stuff in and you can arrange it afterwards, right? So I'm just dragging all of this stuff in here and then taking a look at it, maybe bringing this guy over here. Which one is this? This is the one that's set to zero, so I want that one higher. I'll just drag this one down maybe make it larger, right? You can just pick it and drag it. So a lot of these things hopefully will make sense. So I'm just going to pick this guy and drag it. It likes to line up. So I feel like you guys can come in and get part of this um, pretty quickly. Um, so this is the one that's rotated 95 degrees. So that's this guy, right? So I'll just pull him up and this guy, I'll pull that one up. So, you know, as you get closer, the images get better. Uh, but if you get far away, sometimes they're not that great, but let's just go ahead and line these guys up so you can just, you know, arrange it so it's fairly neat and that things line up and they're easy to read, right? You may have to rearrange them later, but just get them in there. Um, then the other thing you'll be doing is you'll be adding your name up here. So there's a little text option you can click on text um, and left click, put your name in. Looks like about a 60 is good. so. Just put my name in there so we knows who know who it is right so that guy you can line them up so now you've got your name and we've got these two things in and you can come in and adjust them now in the example above I drew some lines you know from things to other things so you could tell where they were so you can do that as well so these little um, blue dots that you get when you pick uh, when you place the um, when you pick the image, actually, if you pull on them, will give you a little thing. Now, it wants to stick to things, so you kind of have to pull past the thing sometimes to get to something you want. But, like, if you want to point at that guy, you can just pull that guy out. And then if you select it, you can change the type, right? You can make it thicker. You can change the endpoint to something else if you want to, right? And so you're just basically pointing from that thing to that thing. Here's this one, right? So I can come in and you see how it sticks there, but if you pull far enough, it'll pull past it. And you can just sort of point to things, right? Um, this is actually on the curve right there. So you can actually come in and, you know, adjust that guy right to there. Maybe pull him down a little bit so he's not so far away. And you can come in and adjust these guys. This one, you know, is going to be a little bit difficult if I pick this one, right, and I draw it. I actually want to go from the top, so I'm just going to control Z that and go from the top here, right, pick that blue dot and come in and get that curve. 
and then you can kind of pull it in. You can also, you know, pick them at once, right? So if I pick all those at once, I can change, you know, to like a gray, and instead of a solid, I can go to a dash line, so it's a little less clear, you know, a little less annoying. So you can do that. Um, the other thing that you can do is you can highlight, you know, where you've changed something because we would have to sort of noodle around to figure out where you changed it. And if you go to a shape, right, I'll just pick this um, sort of rounded rectangle. You can come in and just do a rectangle around what you changed. And you can change the opacity up here, right, and the color of it. So if I set the opacity, you know, to 100%, it'll show that color, right? You can change to whatever. If I put red, you can just come in and pull that opacity down and just highlight it, right? You can also go to the line itself, which is right next to the opacity, and I just picked, you know, no line, but if you wanted it to be yellow, you know, you could do a yellow line, right? And so now it's got a little yellow line around it. And you could do the same thing, right, for this guy over here, or you could actually just copy and paste this one, right? So if I do that, I can then pull this guy down to here and highlight that one, all right? So um, that's that guy. Um, when we come back, I'll do the um, comment and then put in a link to the video.